Hello, I'm Darren, a Magic Ghostbuster, and in this video I'm taking a look at the 12-inch figures by Hasbro. Now, these are cheaper end figures, so don't go thinking they're going to be like Blitzways. I got these for $12.99 each out of B&M, which is a bargain shop over here in the UK. Um, so, let's start by taking a look at the packaging. It's very similar in style to the uh, the Fright Features line that Hasbro recently did. You can see it's got like a caution striping with the... Uh, Afterlife logo there. It's got the same sort of artwork of the character with the name down here. If we turn it around to the side, you can see a nice image of the figure in its full glory. The back shows the figure with the proton pack, which is going to be the thing that no one's going to like on this, let's be honest. Um, and then just a little bio of the character there. And then finally, this side shows the other three characters. So Let's start by taking a quick look at the figure. So this one's Egon, we'll take a look at him first. And I actually think for the price point, the head sculpt's really good. Um, it's a really good likeness of Egon there. And um, I know there's a lot of customizers out there that will probably add a bit, you know, a bit better paint job, but that, that will look brilliant. I think that's a great base. Um, yeah, re really impressed with the head sculpt there. And then, you know, the body is like a, like a basic 12 inch action figure. Um, now, if we turn it around to the back, that's what's going to cause the controversy. So I'm not opening these, um, but it shows a proton pack, and it is literally a flat proton pack. Yeah, it's um, it's not a good proton pack, let's be honest. But then we have to remind ourselves these are only twelve ninety nine. I do feel even at twelve ninety nine, they could have moulded a cheap three D proton pack, even if they added an extra pound onto the price. Um, but uh, you know, again, for anyone who opens these, I'm sure people 3d printing packs that will work but i think that's really the only uh let down on these uh unfortunately and they are all like that but um other than that i think it's actually great for the price point now let's move on to the next one and here we have ray and again similar uh box you know you've got the same cool artwork just take a look around and of course you've got the same sort of photo and um, with that flat proton pack but again, I actually think the face, the head sculpt, is really good. Again, for the price point, I think they've actually done a really good job of capturing Ray's likeness. And Ray's always been a tough one to capture likeness of, I think, in action figure form. So again, I think they've done a really good job there. Uh, now let's move on to Peter Venkman. And again, you know, similar packaging there. Like, I really do love the artwork style they've got on the uh, packaging. I think they've done a really good job. Um, take a look at the back again and um, yeah same proton pack and again the head sculpt again for the price really really good I think they've done a good job there um, yeah I'm really impressed with the head sculpt um, like I said these are not things are going to open and display but I feel like they could have um, with a little bit better paint job on a, my, on a more high end body I think they would actually look great but anyway last but not least is Winston and again similar packaging uh, art design and then again that head sculpt oh I just that is that is Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters 1 it's um yeah really really good um one other thing I just want to talk about quickly it's um, going to be difficult for you to see is the Neutrona wand the Neutrona wand is a 3D representation it looks like it's got the barrel off the end missing unfortunately um but other than that yeah, other than the proton pack and the wand, I think these are pretty good overall. But anyway, let me know what you think. Obviously, they are cheap, so you know, don't go in expecting them to be really, really, really detailed figures because they're not. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Have you found these out yet, or are they something you're after? But um, anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on busting.